Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Jeff Lenoski. I'm here with my good buddy, Lance Trappy. I am at Lynn Woods. It's just north of Boston, Massachusetts. Lance has never been here. I've made a couple videos from here. They're usually all kinds of tech climbs. I did make a very short video about four or five years ago riding this trail. It's called Kelly High. We're gonna take a look at it. I need to reacquaint myself with it. Lance has never seen it. We're gonna walk through all the features. These are some best practices you could use if you stumble upon a new jump trail and you want to check it out, we'll give you some tips on how to try to make it down as safely as possible. All right, Lance is already checking out jump feature number one. It's a pretty uh, well-crafted armored in takeoff here to a little step down gap. Right off the bat, a little intimidating. Yeah, so this is about probably two bike lengths. You're gonna to need to carry some speed in. That's gonna set us up for the rest of the trail. We'll see how that leads into the consecutive features. So one of the cool things about this trail is you could tell it's pretty old. So when you stumble upon a new jump trail, if it's new, things could be a little sketchy. If it's old, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be any less sketchy, but usually riders and builders have worked some of the kinks out. Doesn't mean all the nuance is gonna be gone. Doesn't mean it's gonna be easy but it probably will just work a little bit better. All right, so now we're rolling up to feature number two. Looks kind of a similar takeoff, just dirt. We'll pop you over there on top here. It looks like it's basically like a step on, to step off down to dirt landing. This is kind of cool because it's a downward slope into a landing. That's actually good practice for the next feature. The Lance is down there. You can see this one's probably a, by the time you send it, it's maybe four or five feet, but it's gonna set you up for the next feature, which is similar, but much bigger. Yeah, it looks like we're coming up to another rock here. You're gonna roll up probably somewhat slow. Ooh, that's pretty intimidating. That's a drop right there. Not a huge landing, fading away takeoff. So came up on that and you weren't sure, you probably be upset. And the cool thing, I guess, about the last feature is it has that same kind of fade away lip. So you're really gonna need to take off in this area. If you could roll it, you probably wouldn't have enough speed to make the landing. So right where Lance is, that's pretty much where you wanna take off. This is why it's always a good idea to follow somebody that's ridden these trails before when you ride it for the first time. My memory isn't so great, so I forget it. <laughs> Did ride it, but it was about four years ago. So it's never a bad idea to just stop, check it out, and always try to do stuff that you feel is within your wheelhouse. It's almost like in golf, you gotta, you gotta look at it from different angles and check the, check the green. <laughs> whatever, whatever you need to do to psych yourself up. <laughs> when we're rolling up here, it's actually obviously a drop off, so it's blind. So if you look right here, I can see that that takeoff is ahead of me. I can see that all the way up here, which actually is in line with where we want to land. So we could just kind of make a mental note of that. I think it would be as bad to go too fast as go, you almost couldn't go too slow, I don't think, because you're probably going to clear the gap, but too fast, that's going to be harsh landing. Yeah, but I feel like you could scrub that off a decent amount to adjust that. After that, you just have a pretty easy jump in the grand scheme of things if you've made that into this berm and it looks like another little armored rock kicker off step down from there and it looks like it's about two three bike lengths down i mean if you've made it that far this shouldn't be too bad still a little weird and then this is kind of cool there's a bunch of dead space so they built a nice little double in here again Probably about three bike lengths. And then the next feature is super unique. I can't wait to show you that one because you look at it and you're not really sure exactly what you should do. This one is pretty intimidating because it's this upslope, either big gap or step on, step off, but you can't even really get your bike. So it's gonna be a one wheel nose bonk or tail tap. I think the best bet is to just try to jump it. You know, just kind of picture that rock not there. You got the gap getting on. You got obviously the gap getting off. I'm not planning on making any kind of front wheel contact with that thing. All right, so you land that. Looks like there's a little booter here into this berm. And we're getting pretty close to the bottom. This is gonna be a fun ride. It's not gonna be a long one, but it should be pretty sweet. Kind of a dirt lip here. Looks like from that dirt lip, kind of just jump over this rock. You could completely roll it if you want, but probably be more fun to try to use that as a booter and just get over it and then that'll send you into that last feature. This looks like a pretty, pretty fun conclusion and you know, rewarding, get up on top of the slab. You're just gonna try to, I guess, smoothly kick her up onto that little ledge there. This is like the kickers we dream of. We usually just use one rock. This is, 
uh, foamed in there. <laughs> Look at this. This is all like oh, spray foam locked in there, dressed up, super sick. That's permanent. That's actually a lot of work on that thing. That's pretty awesome. About a, two bike lengths, but the cool thing about this is you could just haul ass. You got plenty of speed. Oh, you know what? We do have a couple more features. It looks like they built more since the last time I was here. So cross here, roll down, not super steep. And then it continues. Oh, this is super cool because it's like sort of single track. There's rocks and stuff like that, but then sort of smooth lips. Looks like step down, could could get some backside on the rock, yeah. could get some dirt, another double, and then shut it down before the Jeep dealer parking lot. You ready to hit this thing up? I think so. All right. <laughs> We're gonna head back up to the top. We'll get one more look on it while we head up. And uh, we're just gonna give this a shot, see if we can do it first try. Might take a couple, takes a couple of tries to iron out the kinks sometimes. So see, maybe it'll be a first first try run. Maybe it might take a few. Only one way to find out. Kelly, hi, take one. It's not very often I get to be followed in my own videos. You ready, LT? I hope so. Five hours in the car, right into Kelly, hi. <laughs> Hold on, I screwed that up. Now it's probably the sketchiest run ever. Nothing seemed to really be working that great, but I just figured I'd try to keep it going. Right. <laughs> take two. Kelly High, take two. Uh, Full two. Hey. Take Baby. <laughs> oh my god. That was Woo. that was awesome. Still not totally sure where we were going, but that was better. It flowed good. That was better. Wanna lead one out? I could probably do that. Alright, we'll go back up for a file cam. Woo. I got you this time. Alright. Alright, LT, first time through. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'm excited. He's got one run under his belt. I'm gonna give you a little bit of room because I feel like I'm riding in the middle a little bit of a different pace and I don't wanna get too, too close. All right, here we go. Dropping it to Kelly High. Well, he forgets where the trail is. <laughs> you forgot where the trail is. I saw nothing, I just went straight. See that in case you're wondering if this is improvised or staged. There you go. This is the guy I'm following. <laughs> All right, take two. All right, we're gonna give him a little bit more room. He's riding a little sus. So sick. Dang. That was awesome. That is scary. <laughs> Dude, that was so sick. This is just our first day here. We'll probably make a couple videos from this park. This first was the first hour. one. First hour, literally five hours in the car right to this. Somehow 
we're still in one piece. Tomorrow will be a little bit more about technical riding, but use those tips. If you go to a new place, scout it out. Don't be afraid to take a couple take runs. Take your time, go slow as you need to and get it right. Yep, uh, we had an awesome time making the video. Thanks for checking out. Until next time, get out there, be a boss.